I'm Savannah. This is Peyton. And I'm Emma. And I'm Angelina, and I hope you enjoy the show. Go Dove Bible Club! Hello, boys and girls. Hello, parents. Thank you for joining us for Dove Bible Club. We have an awesome program lined up for you. But before we get started, here's what I need you to do. I would like you to get on the phone. I want you to call your friends. I want you to call your classmates. I want you to call your cousins and let them know that Dove Bible Club is on. Are you ready to have a good time? Yeah. You are. Are you ready to learn more about Jesus? Yeah. You are. Then let's get started. Let's open up in prayer. But before I open up in prayer, let me ask you a question. What is prayer? Tell me what prayer is. Okay. Good. That's good. Tell me more. Awesome. Good job, boys and girls. Now, let me tell you my definition of prayer. Prayer is talking and listening to God. You say it with me. Prayer is talking and listening to God. Say it one more time, boys and girls. Prayer is talking and listening to God. Now, you get to say it by yourself. I'm going to give you a three count. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, Oh, and I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to help you. You got to say it by yourself. Are you ready? One, two, three. Woo! Good job. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We love you and we adore you, and we magnify you. You're such a good God. We thank you for this morning, and we thank you for this day, and we thank you for these beautiful children that are joining us. Lord, I ask you to help us to understand the lesson today. Help us to have fun learning about your son, Jesus Christ. We love you with all of our hearts. Say it with me, boys and girls. We love you with all of our hearts. Say it again, boys and girls. We love you with all of our hearts. Yes, yes. Okay, boys and girls, let's have some fun. I have a game or I have a Jesus cheer I want you to help me with. I will say the letter and you repeat the letter. Are you ready? Yeah. You are? Okay, here we go. Give me a J. J. Give me an E. E. Give me an S. S. Give me a U. U. Give me an S. S. What does it spell? Jesus. What does it spell? Jesus. Say it again. Jesus. Say it louder. Jesus. Who loves you? Jesus. Who died for you? Jesus. Who's coming back for you? Jesus. It is time for our scriptures. We go over several scriptures here at Dove Bible Club. And the first scripture is Psalm 119, verse 11. And I need you to say it with me. I need you to stand up. Stand up, boys and girls. Stand up straight. And when I give you a three count, you're going to read the scripture with me. Are you ready? You are. Yay, yay, yay. All right, here we go. One, two, three, and read. Your word 
have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119 verse 11. Hey boys and girls, our next scripture is Psalm 119 verse 105. And I need you to help me with that. I need you to stand up and I need you to read it with me. Psalm 119 verse 105. Are you ready? One, two, three, and read. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalm 119, verse 105. Boys and girls, our next scripture is one of my favorite. I know, I know you must have heard this one. You might even know this scripture. It's John 316. What is it? John 316 is probably one of the most read scriptures in the whole Bible. So I'm going to give you a three count. Right, come on, stand up, boys and girls. I'm going to give you a three count. And you get to say that scripture with me. You get to read it with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, and read. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16. Boys and girls, I have a song for you. Very easy song, and I know you know this song. It's the B-I-B-L-E song. Don't you know that? Well, if you don't know that, I'm going to teach you today, and you'll sing it with me. It goes like this. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E, let me hear you. Bible! You got the scream Bible. Are you ready? Say it as loud as you can. Here we go. Let's try it again. On three. One, two, three, six. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Bible! Listen to this. The Bible has 66 books. The Testaments, there are two. 39 books in the Old Testament and 27 in the New. God's Word never fails. No, never fails. No, never fails. No, God's Word never fails. No, 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 no. God's Word satisfies. Yes, satisfies. Yes, satisfies. Yes, God's Word satisfies. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for our Bible lesson. I need you to go and get your Bible because I want you to actually follow along as we read the scriptures. You got your Bible? Okay, good. Our lesson for today is Jesus meets Zacchaeus. Say it with me. Jesus meets Zacchaeus. The scripture is Luke chapter 19 verses 1 through 10. And our character trait is acceptance. Acceptance. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, but because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, 
Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying, that he was gone going to be the guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day, is salvation come to this house for so much as he also is the son of Abraham. For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. Boys and girls, have you ever been excited about seeing this famous person? You have. Well, then you'll love this Bible story. Here's what happened. Jesus was going through Jericho. Now, Jericho was an evil place, evil city. A lot of bad stuff happened in Jericho. And so a lot of people didn't want to go through Jericho. They would go around instead of going through Jericho, but not Jesus. Jesus had someone he wanted to meet. So Jesus is going through Jericho. And then all of these people heard that Jesus was coming through and that he was in their town. So all of these people gathered around Jesus because they heard all of the miracles he had performed. They saw different miracles. So Jesus was very, very popular, very, very, very important man. And all these people wanted to see him. And even Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus heard about this Jesus and he was curious. And so all these people were in this crowd. So Zacchaeus, remember the Bible says he was a chief tax collector and people didn't like tax collectors because they cheated people. The Bible also said he was rich. He was wealthy. That means he cheated a lot of people. He was a thief. He stole money from them. He charged them more taxes than he was supposed to. So people didn't like Zacchaeus. But Zacchaeus saw all of these people in this crowd, and he's wondering, what's going on? What's going on? Who is that? And he knew it was Jesus. So he was a short man, the Bible says. So he couldn't see because all of these people were around. It was so many people. He couldn't see. So you know what Zacchaeus did? did? He was so curious and he wanted to see Jesus so bad. He ran. He saw where Jesus was walking to. And he ran in front of Jesus and he climbed up this big sycamore tree so he could see Jesus when he walked by. So Jesus is walking. He's walking and all of the people, the crowd is gathered around him. Jesus is walking. And as Jesus was walking, he stood right under the tree where Zacchaeus was. Jesus was walking and he stopped. And then he looked up and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. So I'm, I'm going to your house today. So Zacchaeus hurried down the tree and said, yes, yes. He was so excited that Jesus decided to go to his house. And all of the people in the crowd, they knew Zacchaeus was a thief. And they knew he was, nobody liked him. And all of the people started murmuring. They were saying, huh? He's going to the house of a sinner? He's going to Zacchaeus' house? And it's like, uh, who, why would Jesus choose Zacchaeus' house? All of them were saying all these little things. But Zacchaeus was proud. Jesus had chosen to come to his house. So the Bible says they went to Zacchaeus' house and they had dinner. And the Bible doesn't tell us what they talked about. But you know Jesus is a man of truth. And Jesus loves everyone. Remember I told you, nobody liked Zacchaeus. Nobody liked him. So probably while they were eating dinner, Jesus
Jesus probably told Zacchaeus that he loves him and that he wanted to be his friend as well because nobody liked him. And he probably told Zacchaeus about his behavior. I don't know. The Bible doesn't tell us that. But what the Bible does say is Zacchaeus, while they were eating, Zacchaeus stood up and he told Jesus, he said, Jesus, if I've done anything wrong, I will pay people back. I will give back to them. I will restore to them what I've taken. And not only just what I've taken, I will pay them back four times as much as I've taken. And Jesus said, Zacchaeus, salvation has come to your house today. And the Bible also says that Jesus said, you are a son of Abraham. And Jesus also said, I have come to seek and save the lost. Now, not, mind you, nobody likes Zacchaeus. Remember, Jesus came into this world to save everybody. Jesus accepted Zacchaeus. Z Jesus was a friend to Zacchaeus when nobody liked him. But Jesus did. Jesus liked him. Jesus accepted him. Jesus befriended him. And that could have been the one thing that helped Zacchaeus change. What about you, boys and girls? Is it someone you don't like because they don't live where you live? Is it someone you don't like because they're not the same color as you? Is it someone you don't like because they don't have as much money as you? Jesus wouldn't be that way. Jesus would accept everyone as they are. And so what we want you to remember is to be like Jesus. Accept people for who they are. Maybe you have someone in your classroom that doesn't have nice shoes like you do. Still accept them. Maybe you have someone in your classroom that doesn't smell the best. Still accept them for who they are. Be like Jesus. Thank you, boys and girls. God bless you. Boys and girls, the next thing I would like to show you and share with you, it's called the Wordless Book. It's told through five colors, using just colors. It tells you just how much God loves you. But before we get into the Wordless Book, I want to share with you from the very beginning. Remember, when God created the world, he created it perfectly. It was beautiful. There was no sickness, no disease, no evil or mean people. It was perfect and beautiful. And then he created Adam and Eve. And when he created Adam and Eve, he told Adam one thing. He said, Adam, you can eat from any tree of this garden except this tree right here. And that's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Guess what Adam did? He disobeyed God and he ate from the tree that God told him not to eat from. And then when Adam ate from that tree, guess what happened? Sin entered the world. All of the evil, all of the bad stuff, sickness and disease came into the world. And not only that, Adam was separated from God. But God didn't want that. But Adam disobeyed God and sin entered the world. And what is sin? Sin is when you know to do right and you don't do it. Sin is doing what you want to do. Sin is anything you think, say, or do that goes against God's law. So that's what happened when Adam disobeyed God. He was separated because God is so holy. He can't be in the presence of sin. 
But God didn't want us separated from him. He wanted us to be a part of his family. So God came up with a plan. And in this plan, he said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to send my son Jesus to go to the cross to die for their sins. So now we go into the wordless book. The first color of the wordless book is darkness. And darkness represents sin. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So all oh, we were in just by being born, you were automatically born in sin. But remember, God doesn't want us separated from him, so he came up with this plan. So darkness, sin, Romans 3.23. The next color is red, and the red stands for the blood of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3 and 4 says, Jesus died, he was buried, he was raised from the dead according to the scriptures. Now you know Jesus was perfect. He had never done anything wrong. His blood was sinless. His blood was holy. And that's why God can use Jesus' blood to pay the price for our sins. So Jesus died on the cross. Jesus was beaten. Jesus wore a crown of thorns. Jesus was pierced in the side. Jesus was spat on. Jesus' beard was plucked. And not finally, Jesus was nailed to a cross. But he did it for us. He did it to pay the price for our sins. The next color is white. And white stands for righteousness or a clean heart. Psalm 51 verse 7 says, wash me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be white as snow. So if we believe Jesus' blood paid the price for our sins and we ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins, guess what? The Bible says we become born again. We have Jesus' righteousness and he takes our sin. So white stands for a clean heart. The light of God shines in your heart. No more darkness anymore. The next color is green, and it stands for grow. 2 Peter 3.18 says, grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So how do you grow? How do you grow spiritually? How do you grow on the inside? How do you grow by learning more about Jesus Christ? You read your Bible. You go to church. You pray. You come to the Bible Club. Yeah! <laughs> and you learn more about Jesus. The last color is gold. Revelation 21, 21 says, the streets of heaven are paved in gold. The streets are so clear with transparent glass. It looks like it's gold. So Revelation 21, 21 says, the streets of heaven are paved in gold. So those are the five colors of the wordless book that tells you about the love of God. Darkness, sin. Red, the blood of Jesus, white, righteousness, green, grow, and gold, the streets of heaven are paved in gold. Boys and girls, we would love to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That's why God sent him. Remember, God wants you to be a part of his family. And just by listening to the wordless book and seeing that, do you think you just automatically become a part of God's family? You think you just automatically become born again? No. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So I want to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to put your hand on your heart. So 
You know, when, when you're talking and when you're praying, Jesus is listening. He hears you. He hears your voice. He see, I can't see inside your heart, but Jesus can. So if you would like to pray this prayer with me, then that's good. Let's pray. You repeat after me. Say, Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for shedding your holy, sinless blood just for me. I believe you are God's son. And I believe, believe you died, you were buried, and on the third day, God raised you from the dead. Jesus, I'm sorry for my sins. Come into my heart. Come into, be, come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. I receive you today. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I have a home in heaven. Amen. Now, boys and girls, if you said that prayer and you really, really believed it and meant it in your heart, Jesus heard you. He heard you. And as of that time, you are a child of God. You belong to the family of God. Welcome to the family. And when you leave this earth, guess what? You get to go to heaven. Oh yeah, heaven. Oh yeah, heaven. Oh yeah! Boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us. Parents, Thank you so much for tuning in and joining us. Now let me leave you with a blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Who knows any scripture? Louis, what scripture? John 3, 16. Okay, tell it to us. Share it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Excellent! Excellent! Anybody else have a scripture they want? Oh, Savannah just want to do it? Okay, Savannah here. What scripture? Um, Psalms 119. I will make him a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. I will hide his word in my heart that I might not sin against God. Very good. Psalm 119, verse 11. One, two, three. I love Jesus. With your whole heart? Say, with my whole heart. With my whole heart. <laughs> if you would like more information about Dove Bible Club, just go to DoveBibleClub.org slash TV. That's DoveBibleClub.org slash TV.